Close your eyes and imagine a world where tranquility and wellness are just a breath away. Welcome to our sanctuary of relaxation and rejuvenation. Elevate your yoga experience with our premium yoga clothing. Crafted from the finest materials, our attire provides the perfect balance of comfort and style, allowing you to move with grace and confidence. Unlock a deeper connection with our community through our Patreon. Gain exclusive access to behind-the-scenes content, bikini hauls, and Patreon-exclusive massage videos. But what if you could carry your sanctuary with you wherever you go? Introducing our mobile app. Access a wealth of yoga classes, guided meditations, massage collections, and self-care techniques right at your fingertips. Create your own oasis of peace, anytime, anywhere. Whether it's finding your perfect yoga attire, connecting deeper through our Patreon, or having your sanctuary in the palm of your hand with our mobile app, we have everything you need to enhance your wellness journey. Visit us at zoso.shop. Join our Patreon or download our app to embark on a path of tranquility and self-discovery. Your journey awaits. Namaste. Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing massage for those of you that want more flexibility in your calves and I'm going to be working on the lovely Michelle. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I was kind of making a plan for this massage and I'll go ahead and just do some, um, a small warm up here while I'm talking. But I kind of realized that, um, you know, I focus so much on the gastrocnemius that I have neglected the soleus muscle a little bit. And I was thinking about like the muscles that kind of inhibit flexibility and the soleus is a big one. So, um, I'm just doing some compressive um, holds on the gastroc before moving into the soleus, but I'm excited to do a little more work on the soleus today. And I like to do um, some longer holds with these muscles just because they can be really tender. Especially if you're working on someone that's fairly athletic. And don't forget about um, this connective tissue that eventually turns into the Achilles. You wanna work this area really well. It's always wise to include the feet when you're working on, especially the soleus muscle. And um, Sometimes when there's a lot of scar tissue around the Achilles, if there's been an injury or whatever, sometimes that needs to be worked through a little bit before doing deeper work in the soleus, um, just to free things up a bit. And I'm just gonna walk my um, compressive holds up the leg and I'm gonna go ahead and land on the soleus. find that just giving my clients a roadmap and kind of a blueprint for what the massage entails, it helps them to relax a little bit more when I'm doing deep tissue. And 
and just taking my time with these holds. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my oil. So it's really, can feel really nice. Um, just do a nice long effleurage stroke and then bring it all the way into the feet. Um, but you definitely want to be careful of too light of touch in the feet if you're working on someone that's ticklish. Even, you know, in the in-betweens, like applying oil, just finding a nice flow. It doesn't feel choppy. Since I started um, doing massage, I think naturally I've been really good at deep tissue, but my biggest critique at least earlier on, was that my massage was a little bit choppy. And so just always trying to create a really nice flow. And sometimes if um, that soleus feels really contracted, I like to actually start with the feet because just working on the soles of the feet can really encourage the soleus and the gastroc to relax a little bit more. And plus it can be just really relaxing generally, kind of encouraging Michelle to just melt into the table. Really working these arches really like to work the pad of that big toe. Definitely a sore spot for a lot of people. And um, sometimes just so I don't forget what I'm doing, I'll kind of like match side to side so that I don't forget what I did on the other side. Just really working those arches. You can absolutely use your thumbs if you want to on the feet, but I really um, try to just save my thumbs as much as I can. So if I have techniques that are effective, that feel good, then I don't have to use my thumbs. So use them instead. And I find that um, just little things like, so as I'm using my soft fist, it's, it's barely visible, but nice firm pressure on the way down and just so I don't lose contact I'm just kind of gliding up but I'm not trying to apply much pressure on the way up just little subtle things to create a more consistent flow take a second and just thank a few of our patrons. I'd like to thank Nicholas P, John Burns, and Hueso S. Thank you guys very much for your support.
and uh, it can feel really good to at least stretch the Achilles heel a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and point these toes down for the t towards the table. And you can kind of move from side to side. This is a really good way for me to see how much mobility Michelle has in her ankle, how flexible that Achilles is. So working on this connective tissue around the Achilles is really powerful work um, that can indirectly help the soleus and make deeper work in the soleus easier, more effective. And honestly, you can you know work this connective tissue a number of ways. You don't have to go slow, you can go faster can do little circles can be a really nice way to work the tissue as well. Um, this is one area that I do really like to use my thumbs. And especially if your client is someone who has had ankle issues or um, any issues with their Achilles, this work is going to feel so good. It's gonna free up that heel a lot, that ankle. And you don't wanna forget about inside of the leg as well. And if you're starting to get tired, if your thumb's getting tired, you can always move to working with your knuckles so especially if you're trying to work through more stubborn scar tissue and I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this work into the gastroc and I'm gonna start just doing some super slow petrissage just lifting these muscles away from the tibia just really creating a lot of space. And if you are doing this at home, I would encourage you to do both sides. I'm only gonna do this left side today. You can also just grab hold with both hands and really lift up. This is awesome for both the gastroc and the soleus. If it feels extra sticky, you can always just shake it a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and start working more locally on the soleus. And just slowing it way down. My favorite tool for working this muscle is my forearm. And this is really great because you can start on that Achilles work all the way into that soleus. And sometimes I like to just shake. Really hydrate that muscle fiber. This is also a great tool for if you do find um, that the connective tissue around that Achilles, if it's not feeling like it's responding that well and you need to 
offer more pressure, this is a great tool for that as well. And feels really good if you can just move in the opposite direction. with just a few nice effleurage strokes, usually how I end my massages. And that is all for today. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you like today's video, you should check out our Patreon page where you'll find some exclusive content. I look forward to seeing you there. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.